Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, in our last video, we showed you how to create this full page parallax. It's actually called a fixed background, but Divi calls it CSS parallax. Really nice little effect. But we had a few questions about it and people were wondering how difficult it is to turn a regular page into this. It is so simple, you would not believe it. You may look at a page and think, well, it's got a lot of sections. I really don't fancy doing all that work just to change it. You only actually have to change one section. I'll show you exactly how to do that. Let's find a new page. I've got my pages open here at my dashboard. I'll find something that's got quite a few sections on it. I think this one did. Let's just have a look at it. Yeah, it's got plenty of sections going on there. Okay, well, let's turn this into a full screen fixed background. What I'm going to do is enable my visual builder. And we can go into any background on this page we want. We could have taken that top one, but I'm going to go down to this next one, which is just a straight white background. I'm going to left click on it. I'm going to go into the section itself. I'm going to go down to the background. Background is always under content. I'm going to go over to background image find the image that we want to use for our background here to use this one it's fairly high res because we're going to go full screen for desktop you really do need a fairly big picture mine's got a good resolution on it it's 2560 by 1440 but it's not too big it's actually only around a quarter of a meg there 248 kilobytes so let's upload that image there it is in the background there. But it's just a regular image at the moment. What I want to do is have it fixed background. Well, like I say, Divi calls it CSS parallax. So if we roll down just below the image right there, we've got use parallax effect. I'm going to flip that from no to yes. Now we've got a parallax effect. And what that basically means is this background image is moving at a different rate from the front. It's actually moving, but at a different rate. If we flip it from true parallax to CSS or fixed background, it stays right there. And that's what we want. And we want that for every section on this site here. Not sure it's going to work too well with this one, but I'll also show you how you can selectively apply it to various sections. So we're happy. Let's just roll that back up so you can see where we were. It's our background right here. Now, rather than have to go into every single section and do this, what we can do is just roll up a little bit to the blue writing right here where it says background. Right click on the blue writing. Let's say extend background styles to all sections on this page. As soon as I hit that, it's done it. Now, all of our sections We've got that parallax or fixed background effect there. Oh, yeah, it doesn't work too well with that one. He's coming out of nowhere. Um, but you can see how easy it is to convert a page. And if you want to do it selectively, there were quite a few sections in this page. We're now just getting down to the bottom here. If you want to do this selectively, I'll show you how to do that. Let's just X out of this section. Everything should go back to normal. I say normal, should go back to the way it was originally. There we go. We got our regular backgrounds in there. Again, let's go into a section and change it how we want. Let's just do this top one this time. I'm going to go into the blue section. We're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to build the background that we want here. It's got a gradient on it. I can get rid of that. I'm going to go into the image. We'll pop that image in. I don't think the one I've got there is big enough to do it. We'll use the same one. And again, we want to make sure that parallax effect is set to yes and on CSS parallax. Now this time, rather than extend, we're still going to go out to the blue writing, but rather than extend the background styles, I'm going to copy the background. Now we can save this. We can roll down to any section that we want to have it. Let's do this section as well. I'm going to go into the background again. I'm going to right click on the blue background writing there. I'm going to paste the background in there. Great, we've got it on that section. Save that. Next section, let's leave that one white. This one's got its own little parallax thing going on it. So we'll leave that one as it is too. 
And, well, because that's got it uh, its own parallax, let's leave this one white and we'll do this one down here, perhaps. I won't do any more after this. You know exactly what's going to go on. Right click on the blue writing, paste background. This one's got it in there. And you can keep going on and going on. I'll just leave those as they are. Once you're happy, obviously hit save. And you now applied that to just a couple of sections there. So that's how you can do it to individual sections right there. Like I said, I'm going to have mine on every section here. So I'm just going to go into this background. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say extend background styles to all sections like we had earlier. Now that that's done, we should have it on all sections. And that little scroll effect, little robot fella that comes in here that doesn't work very well. I think I'm going to just change that to maybe a black section or something like that. That will probably work with it. So we can go into this section. I'm sure you knew how to do this. Just put in a color or whatever it is you want to put in behind yours. And we'll delete the image. Well, that way, our little signs coming in there, that's fine. Let's just save this, make sure it's all going to work on the front end. Hit the little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And here we have it. We've got our little fixed background site right there. Looks like our content's rolling up over the top of it. We're going to get to this little black section in a minute where we've got that little animation with the robot coming in and the tech sale badge right there. Then we've got our parallax or fixed background for the rest of our site here. And you saw how simple that is to convert this page. It really is simple. You just got to do one section and extend it or do one section and copy it and then just paste it to the sections that you want to have that same fixed background on. Really easy to do, really nice effect. So I hope that's answered that question and I hope you've enjoyed this today. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you and make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.